pulmonary suppuration is an acute or chronic pulmonary inflammation, non-tuberculosis that is clinically expressed by an elimination of important quantities more than 50 milliliters per 24 hours of purulent sputum. So now we know what is pulmonary suppuration. What is the clinical picture seen in pulmonary suppuration? Bronchitic, bronchitic syndrome, cough which is productive, purulent sputum, signs of infection like fever, malaise, dyspnea. What are the clinical types of pulmonary suppuration? These clinical types include bronchitis and pulmonary abscess. How can you differentiate between these two. Bronchiectasis is open bronchi, while, pul while pulmonary abscess is closed bronchi, which can open in evolution. Furthermore, the etiology of bronchiectasis is the exacerbation of the polymorphic saprophyte flora, while that of the pulmonary abscess is pathologi pathologic flora, unique germ. Let's talk now about the bronchiectasis. Permanent dilation and destruction of the larger bronchi caused by chronic infection and inflammation employing all the layer of the bronchic wall, cartilages, musculature, elastic fibers and their replacement with fibroid tissue. Segmentary and subsegmentary bronchi, permanent obliteration of distal bronchi. Neighboring emphysema, fibrosis, atelectasis. Bronchiectasis types include cylindrical, varicose, and saccular. What are the different causes of bronchiectasis? 1. Cystic fibrosis. 2. Alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency. 3. Infections. These include like necrotizing germs, Staphylococcus aureus, Klebsiella, pneumonia, viral like influenza, adenovirus, tuberculosis, fungal infections, and immunoglobulin deficiencies, and chronic diseases, repeated infections. Furthermore, the causes include foreign bodies, gastric reflux, toxic and idiopathic causes. What are the symptoms of bronchiectasis? These symptoms include a cough matinal, accentuated by changes in body position, sputum production which is variable in quantity, increase in acute periods, thick, tenacious, three stratums, purulent, mucus and foamy. And from the symptoms of bronchiectasis includes hemoptysis. What's about the physical examination of bronchiectasis? The physical examination of bronchiectasis is identical with that of chronic bronchitis. Imagistic exploration used in bronchiectasis. Let's talk about this imagistic exploration. These include radiology, diagnosis like the CT bronchography, common with chronic bronchitis. The imagistic exploration is common with that used in chronic bronchitis. Now let's talk about pulmonary abscess. What is pulmonary abscess? The lung abscess is a necrotizing lung infection characterized by a pus filled cavitary lesion. It is almost always caused by aspiration of oral secretions by patients who have impaired consciousness. What is the clinical picture you can see on a patient with pulmonary abscess? These symptoms include signs of infections like fever, chills, hot sweating, nausea and loss of appetite. Cough, which is dry initially, productive after when the abscess opens into a bronchi. Dry thereafter, after massive vomica, purulent pleural effusion, and septic shock. So now we've talked about the symptoms of the pulmonary abscess. 
Let's talk about the modification of the respiratory examination in the case of a pulmonary abscess. Closed, no modification, exception for signs of septic shock. Normal or slightly reduced tactile primitus. Percussion, when you percuss you feel dullness or hear dullness. Auscultation, diminished vesicular sounds, few rails, ronchi wheezes. As for opened, palpation, increased tactile primitus, as we've mentioned when compared to the closed, is normal or slightly reduced tactile primitus. Let's continue talking about the opened. Percussion, you feel dullness, hyperresonance, metallic resonance when speaking. As for the auscultation in the open, harsh vesicular sounds, rails, ronchi, and coarse crackles. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you in the next video with a new talk.